Oh, you know. Hey everyone, I'm Kale Anonymous, and welcome to Kingston's Indie Hack. Here at Indie Hack, we like to give you tips to get you started on that creative project you've been waiting to try out. And in this episode, we are going to teach you how to get the best photos from one of my favorite little devices, the GoPro. Nice. The GoPro is actually a pretty cool device for taking pictures. And with a few simple tricks, you can take some amazing pictures with this little tiny camera. And since we're talking photos, why not bring in a photographer, our old friend, Mark Demolato. Welcome to the show again, man. Yeah, good to see you. So now, the GoPro is mostly known for taking videos, but it can take some pretty cool photos as well, right? Why don't you tell us about that? Of course, you know, usually with my career, I, was, I built it based on shooting with an SLR. But with the evolution of the GoPro, these things have evolved into highly, highly capable photographic tools. A lot of my work now uses the GoPro. It's a very compact and very, very capable tool. All right, let's see what this thing can do. All right, let's do it. This first hack involves creating a do-it-yourself type of mount so that we can avoid using a tripod. For something that can fit in your pocket, which is a simple Velcro strap, a tread wheel from any hobby store, these are 20 for two bucks, quarter inch bolt and nut, and a washer, this thing's can strap to anything. Awesome, what about this guy? This guy looks like it's very effective and quick. Uh, these are simple, uh, you know, hardware type clamps. You just pass the quarter inch bolt through here, affix the nut. What it lets you do is you can clip this to anything, like tabletops, even a tree branch, a thin tree branch. Mount the camera here, and it's an instant mount so that you can place yourself within the field of view. Perfect. Very easy. And then you take the image by using the time lapse mode of the camera. Oh! So you get it going. You know, your first initial shots are going to be you setting up, but once you get in the field of view, the subsequent later shots are the ones that are going to be the gold shots. Okay, Mark, what if I want to get some aerial shots? Okay, don't knock it till you try it. This sounds crazy, but you're going to build a rig using a foam block. You're going to cut out an X-structured type rig to hold the GoPro. One tip I want to advise you of, when you're cutting out the outline of the GoPro, cut it a little bit smaller than the, the GoPro itself so that it holds nice and snug. But after you cut out the foam block, it starts to look something like this, okay? All right! <laughs> The kind of views that you achieve through aerial photography are unmatchable. And it's worth the effort to, to create this rig. How silly as it sounds, you're going to power it with helium inflated balloons. You look at these shots that we're showing you right now, I mean, the proof is in the shots. It's, of course. It's pretty cool. Now, Mark, I know there's some pretty cool photo features already built into the camera. Sure, these GoPros now are armed with a burst mode, something like 10 frames per second, all the way up to 30 frames per second. And what it lets the photographer do is freeze an image at the most decisive moment. So what's the coolest thing we can do with that? Um, a lot of things people are doing now, it's something called a levitation photograph, where somebody's elevated in the air, and we freeze them just before that initiation of the jump and just before they start to descend back down to the ground. And it looks like and you're flying. It looks like they're floating. I've seen people do it with the, uh, the Star Wars force choke thing. Sure, the yeah. Darth Vader. We gotta do that. Okay. Okay, we did it. That was really cool. And of course, with burst mode, you're going to be taking a lot of photos. Your micro SD card is going to fill up quick. Well, Kingston was nice enough to lend us this Mobileite Wireless G2. And what you can do is you pop in your micro SD, and then you pop in a USB, transfer all the files to your USB. You're good to keep shooting. Mark, what about some general photography tips from a pro photographer? Well, the best thing to do with photography is create images that are outside the box and outside your normal conventional use of the camera. Most people tend to shoot with a standard normal eye level. The best thing to do is take the camera from different vantage points, either ultra low or even high, because it creates a field of view that's not typically seen. It makes it more interesting. Like some people like to take the hero selfie, it makes them a little bit more grandiose because it's shooting from a lower angle, it makes them look larger. It could be your Facebook profile yeah, photo. Yeah, like a superhero. All right, Mark, well, that's it. Thanks for all your cool tips. As someone who uses the video aspect of the GoPro a lot, it was very cool to see what you could do with the photo aspect. So I have to know, as always, how'd I do? Kale, your shots are amazing. And it goes to show that with the evolution of the GoPro, it has evolved into a highly functional tool that yields images that can rival an SLR. That's what I like to hear. All right, well, guys, get out there and try these out. And don't forget, there's more Kingston Indie Hack where that came from, don't forget to subscribe. We will catch you guys here later next time with video for the GoPro. All right, we'll see you guys later. All right, take it easy.